In this guitar song lesson, we are going to learn how to play Man Like You as performed by Tom Mish. Hey guys, I'm Ryan Naylor here to help you grow as a guitarist and Tom Mish is a recent discovery of mine as suggested by one of my Instagram followers. I'm on a big Neo Soul trip at the moment and I love Tom Mish's 2018 release, Geography. The album is great. This song, Man Like You, is a particular standout. So we're gonna break down all the sections here, including the guitar solo. So let's zoom in and go through the song. Okay, so taking it from the beginning, the intro at nine seconds. Now this is this picking part is done for all of the verse and the chorus. So what we've got is finger number one is gonna be in the 12th fret of string six, and we're gonna use finger three, the 13th fret of string three. And to that, we're gonna add in the open B string. You'll see in the picking pattern, we're always hitting the open B with the middle finger. We have a pattern in six, eight, one, two, one, two, so it's Thumb, middle, index, thumb, middle, index, strings, six, two, three, six, two, three, six, two, three, six. Verse at 18 seconds then, we take this picking pattern and what we're gonna do is descend the E major scale on those strings. And sometimes we're gonna have this shape is the first one, when we have a major third, and then when we have a minor third in the scale, we're gonna have a slightly different shape. I'm gonna use finger two on the bass note and finger three on string number three. So we get the minor third when we're on the 11th fret and the ninth, okay. But then we have the shapes on fret seven and fret five, we use the first shape, so with the note uh, on string three, raised one fret. So we get 12 and 13, 11s, 9s, 7, 8, and then 5, 6. And what we do is we do the picking pattern, one measure upon each chord, let's call them chords for ease. So we go 1, Starts like that. Now note the, the fretting hand that I switched between finger one and finger two, and that is to keep the third finger on string three. That's my top tip. Okay, so we go. Then we sit on four measures upon this A note. On the fifth time we have it, we have a slight move. Whoopsie. So we go down to the Fret number four, that would be a minor third because it's the G sharp. So we go, they're both in the fourth fret. And then we have another four measures upon the A, and then we go again. So then So that verse part is done twice, 18, 32 seconds, and then we go into what, let's call it the chorus of 47. And what happens, we switch from E major to E minor. So we then have five and five in the fingers. So I'm using fingers two and three, then we go seven, seven. Then we go eight, nine, using one and three, and then 10, 11, and then back to the E, okay. So we're walking up on an E minor. There's four measures of the 12th fret, the E, on the end, and that's the chorus part, okay? Verse two at 56, we do the same as verse one, and it's repeated at 111. So the second chorus at 125, you play it twice, and on the second time, as you walk on up, you 
end it, instead of the on the E note, we go to this chord in the second fret, two, two. and then go to this grip, is what I hear, so open A string, 7th fret D, 6th fret G, open B, that's for two measures, and then we have this, 4th fret of the A string, go to 2nd fret of the G, 4th fret of the B, and open E, so 4, 2, 4, open. The bridge part is basically a loop um, that is set out initially and it goes with the third fret of the A string with finger two. I'm going to do the second fret of the G string with finger one and then an open B string and we go again picking pattern as before. Thumb, index, middle, strings five, two, three. So you do that four times. One, two, three, four. And then we're going to raise the note on string 5 up to the 4th fret. 2, 3, 4. And that's the loop. So it's 8 measures. That shape first and then go into that. So at two minutes after the loop kicks in, then we start doing some back and forth string two and one. And it starts on the second fret of the B string, using the index and then the middle to pick the open E string. So it's a two note grouping in six, eight, one, and one and a two and a one and a two and a. That's the picking pattern, and it walks up frets as follows, 3, 5, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 16, 15, on the repeat, stay there, 17, and does that again in a slight variation, same kind of idea, 5, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 16, 17, 15, 14, 17. And then we kick into the guitar solo at 2.38. I can't be sure on the fingerings of the guitar solo, but these are the notes. It's just before 2.38, we go 12.14 on string one, and then we do a half bend. Vibrato, holding that for nearly two measures. And we go 14.12. Then we do a hammer, 12.14 on the B string, to the 12. Then we go down to the 7th fret, we do a half step pre-bend release into the 5th fret with a pull off. All together. Mm -hmm. 
Second phrase, we're on the seventh fret of the B string. We do a half bend, a release, slide down to the fifth, pull, hammer, pull between fifth fret and the third fret. Then we do some arpeggiating. In the first fret of the G string, use finger, going to use finger two because you're going to slide into the second fret into like an A triad, and then that shape. So we go second fret, fourth fret, second fret, first fret. That's the part there, and then we're in the fourth fret. We go pick, fourth fret, pull, pull, and then we go four, two, zero on the B string. And then we do another half step bend. And then we let that go. Three, one, open B string, second fret G, open G, second fret, first fret. B string, and then we did a little funky rhythm. Then we do a half bend, 11th fret, down to the 10th, jump 13 on the B string, 12 fret B, 10 fret B, and then we hammer on to the 12. Then we pull, pull from 10. Nine, seven. Next phrase is we have a half bend from the seventh fret of the B string. Release it. Bend release to the fifth. Seventh fret of the G. Then we pick. Then we're arpeggiating some triad shapes. Six, five, five. Then we go four, five, four. There's some bonus notes in there, but just. Play as I did then, and it would sound great. Then we go seventh fret. Whoops, seventh fret B. We get a half bend. Release. Bend release. Fifth fret. Then we five hammer to seven. That's the core, that's the solo. So we come out of that then at 335, we're back to the the picking patterns. Four times on the 12th fret. And then verse 3 at 340, repeated at 354, it's the same as it was before. And then the outro chorus at 408 is played twice, and it's done in the same way, walking up. And at the end at 425, we do these chords. Big stretch. It's either a B6 or an E. An E major 9, depending on what you consider the root note. But it's 2nd fret A string, 4th fret D, 1st fret G, 4th fret B. 
we arpeggiate through, take that shape up a fret to a C6, up a whole step to a D6, and then we go to uh, this grip, barring across the 4th fret, pinky to the 7th fret of the D, 4th fret, 5th fret with finger 2, under the bar, finger string 1, and then the fretting hand comes over and taps onto the second fret of string six, and in doing so, that establishes the bass note, making this an F minor 11. There you are guys, that was the song. If you did enjoy that, please a thumbs up and do consider subscribing if you are new to the channel. As you do so, please don't forget to click on the bell icon to not miss any future channel notifications. You can get more from me on my channel or over on my website. You guys take care, practice well, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.